Pittsburgh is the city of bridges, but a former city official tells Action News Investigates the city has paid little attention to bridge maintenance. Investigative reporter Paul Van Osdell joins us live with the story. And Paul, where did this official work? Well, Mike, Tom Joyce was an operations manager with the city agency responsible for bridges until he retired earlier this year. Now, he's not an engineer, but he spent years working on bridges, including the now closed Charles Anderson Bridge connecting Oakland and Squirrel Hill. Now, Joyce tells me he's speaking out because he loves his city and he worries about the possibility of another bridge collapse. Are you concerned that some of these bridges could fall oh, down. Yes, oh, no doubt about it. They are too. Tom Joyce spent nine years with the city in Public Works and DOMI, the Department of Mobility and Infrastructure. He says other city officials resisted his efforts to do basic bridge maintenance, like cleaning drains. Just cleaning the scuppers and the expansion dams. If simple maintenance would go a long, long way. And they never did. They just started doing it last year. An NTSB report in May found the lack of such maintenance led to clogged drains on the Fern Hollow Bridge. And that resulted in corrosion that contributed to the collapse of the bridge. We found that that debris accumulation, water debris, water accumulation, was associated with some of the deterioration and section loss. If you just do a simple maintenance and clean them, you know, once a year, the bridge will last a lot longer. And the city wasn't doing that? No. And we're going to talk about how it impacts people. Action News Investigates asked Mayor Ed Ganey about Joyce's concerns. The reality is, you know, like I know, when we came in, there was no bridge maintenance report. There was no bridge maintenance inspection. There was none of that. We created that. Former Mayor Bill Peduto declined to comment. City records show 4.4 million was budgeted for bridge upgrades in 2020, Peduto's last full year as mayor. But last year, Action News Investigates found the city spent just 1.6 million on bridge maintenance over a four-year period. Joyce says he spent more than that fixing city steps in just one year. So we had like 1.7 million of federal money come in to rehab steps, and I spent it all. And then we had an additional, I had an additional million on top of that to rehab steps. This one almost hit me. My son and I were walking and it, it behind me in the street and it, it scared me. Don's diner owner Marcy Kemmler collects pieces of the California Avenue bridge that have fallen near her business. This came down, the bolt, it was on the sidewalk over there. The city installed protective netting and fenced off an area beneath the bridge but Marcy says that has not stopped chunks of the bridge from dropping. This is dangerous down here. Holes in the bridge deck are visible from Eckert Street beneath. The bridge structure covered in rust. How long have you been asking the city to do something about this? Two years. Weeks after Action News Investigate spoke with Marcy, the city started sealing joints to reduce water leakage and prevent further corrosion. A full rehab is scheduled for 2025. Joyce says this is the bridge that scares him the most, West Carson Street going over Chartiers Creek near McKees Rocks. It is one of 29 city bridges that have a poor rating, according to a city report. West Carson has a 35-ton weight limit, but last year we saw three semi-trucks crossing the bridge at the same time. Oh, I know, it's like the, it's the worst bridge in the city right now. A spokesperson for Mayor Ganey says no repairs on the bridge are expected until 2027 when there will be a full rehab. Joyce also worries about the South Negley Avenue bridge in Shadyside, which has a poor rating. The condition of the bridge now, what's the it's problem horrible. with the current condition? It's horrible, it's horrible. That's not a safe bridge? No, no, it's not. It, you know, it's probably, It'll probably be one of the next ones to be closed. The city says South Negley is scheduled for a rehab in 2026. Ganey says he is committed to ensuring bridges are safe. If that means that we're going to be able to do it overnight? No, there's no microwave meals that making sure that this city is safe. Everything we've done is to advance the safety of this city, and we will continue to do that. When it comes to inspections. But last year, Domi Director Kim Lucas told City Council her agency, which is responsible for maintaining and rehabbing bridges, 
is chronically short-staffed. We are nowhere, nowhere near the staffing levels, um, nor the compensation levels that we need to be competitive. Right now they've been lucky. I think they're running through the rain jobs. Just weeks after the Fern Hollow Bridge collapsed, Mayor Ganey created a commission to monitor bridges and other infrastructure. But more than a year later, the commission has still not had its first meeting. In fact, it was only just last week that the mayor sent city council his list of appointees. Reporting live in Oakland, Paul Van Osdall, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.